So tonight I've been working on the little city car and I've been installing this throttle in the back here. There's the Curtis PB8 pop box throttle controller. Uh, you can see there's a piece of aluminum that comes in off of this metal rod here, which is controlled by the accelerator. So it goes all the way back there. So at the moment, I have actually two throttles in the car. So here's the original. You can see the original is just three contact switches. And then the, the new one, is that, there's actually a potentiometer in there. It's a zero to five K ohm potentiometer. And then you, you have a contact switch here as well for the high pedal. So right now the contact switch is open. Well, the first and the last contact will be open. Um, but yeah, this, this was fun because, uh, you can see the, the hood, which I don't have a hood. It doesn't open up, but it's an, at an angle. So it's very difficult to get the drill to actually drill down way in the back there, or at least towards the front of the car. Uh, and it, it was, a <laughs> let's just say it was a nightmare. Um, this floor is all plastic so i wasn't sure how to attach it i saw other uh there was another city car owner that he just said he bolted his to the the floor and he was fine so that's what i've got for now and unless i can find a uh, more secure way of bolting it down uh one of the interesting parts here is uh, making that metal rod. So I had to fabricate this out of a piece of aluminum. I rounded off the edges so it wouldn't poke at any wires. I drilled a hole here, but I also made a well in there. There we go. And you can see why is there like a, like a little pawn piece. So because it's kind of like a, a well, I'm able to, uh, to put the bar down a little bit lower and uh, it's able to move freely. Uh, down here I had to, uh, I had an issue originally where when this was connected directly to the pot box lever there, it was at so, such a large angle going down it seemed like it was going to pinch and push and bend things. So I got a, a clevis pin and a hairpin and uh, some spacers to elevate this uh, piece of aluminum and I was able to get it in here. Uh, unfortunately, I had to get it into the closest hole to make use of the entire range of the potentiometer, which uh, was insane trying to get that clevis pin into, into the hole closest to the, uh, to the pop box itself just because... Um, the pop box kind of is in the way so you, you couldn't it was very difficult to get that pin in there <laughs> um yeah and i had to put the pin from the top i could have put it in from the bottom to make it easier uh but i was afraid that pin would uh drag against the pop box or something and get caught up and so instead i put the pin on the top and uh just made things easier to to work with so yeah and uh, the reason I have two throttles is because I'm still using this car and the car is uh, right now using that throttle. Ideally, when the, the whole drivetrain and everything else is switched over, hopefully I can have a switch that I can swap between the original uh, wonkiness of, of this can, throttle versus that one just to uh, have something fun and unique about this car. And I can like um, let people feel how the current configuration right from the factory uh, feels. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So I feel like it's been a long night. This is something that's, that's major. It's done. Uh, I can move on to the next step. So yes, accomplishment has been achieved.